again um back to sister cif dane she's the author of divorce is not an answer and she's been um, engaged in a lot of um, talks interviews about her book and it seems there's been a lot of attraction to some of the ideas and concept of her books but they're also concerned by some women that um it will sound insensitive that they will remain in a marriage that is abusive um, that is basically traumatizing them and the best way out is to um, walk away and save themselves the pain the suffering a lot of problems how would you respond to that for women that have been in a abusive marriage i'll say to them um one need not to run away I was in, a, in the same um, abusive relationship. I was uh, physically abused, mentally tortured, and cheated on. If women can make my husband rich, he could have been the most richest man on this planet Earth. But I did not sought divorce. I felt that divorce wasn't an answer for me because um, there's always room for reconciliation. God can always bring reconciliation with all those. I found it in my heart to forgive my husband and then also I needed my husband and found it I try to find out that I need to be patient people that are in abusive marriage don't need to run away they need to know the temperament of their partners because there were four types of temperament that I measured in my book once those temperaments are you know those four types of temperament it will help you to know where the divorce is coming from and what are they the four types of uh, four, uh, temperaments are the, the flagmate, the uh, sanguine, the uh, melancholic, and the colic. Those you need to know. Uh, it's all in the book. Once you know those, those are like fluid that run through human body. Some have the yellow bile mucus, some just have one blood, and some just have the, uh, the uh, dark blood. So once you understand what those types of blood, the fluids that run in the body, then you'll be able to know the temperaments of that, your partner. And once you know those temperaments, you'll be able to know what's causing this person to behave towards me the way they're behaving. And once you know that and understand that, then you know how to approach that person. If the person is angry, you know that you have to stay away from him because if you don't, then that person is going to be abusive towards you. So we need to really, we really need to pay attention to those kind of things before we even get married. That's one of the major things that causing abuse in a marriage. Thank you so much.